pack your bags. We're going to Spokane, Washington for another traveling thrifting mini series. Thrift with me for vintage and quality pieces at some of the most fun and interesting stores that the Lilac City has to offer. I do not know what to make at this store. I was looking for another one actually that's nearby and I didn't spot that one. I don't know, they have some stuff out on the sidewalk. I think I'm gonna start with that and if it's looking promising, then we'll go in and explore further. I, it, just at a distance, it looks like there could be some funky vintage stuff hanging there. Let's check it out. All right, here's the rack outside. Let's see what they've got. Chico's modern Kenneth Cole that's nice 389 the prices are great vintage 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 gorgeous 789 80s vintage and then some modern. So yeah, I'm intrigued. Let's go in and take a look. I'm about to say this lovingly, but this is a junk store. Like, I'm excited to dig. I'm not really like shopping for housewares right now because I'm traveling with everything. This is primarily gonna be like a clothing thrift, but let's take a look at a little of that and then jump into the clothes. these vintage old Montana yearbooks. Here is the clothing section. So I just found out all of the women's clothing is only 99 cents per item, which is amazing. Hopefully there's some gems in there. This is cute little varsity sweater. I think it's like a vintage hand knit. Looks a little bit like stretched out and warped, but it's cute. And if it's 99 cents, that's a good buy, I think. So 
a cashmere jacket. Size six though. Angora blend. Boots are only five eighty nine. They're nice. Two eighty nine for those. There's some more coats in here. Look at this leather jacket. That one's only four eighty nine. And there's another one, but this one's not a best condition but only 589 if you clean it up oh, oh my gosh look at that that's cool whatever river only 49 for that the buttons are little horses oh my god believe it or not I already have a belt like this in pink <laughs> and there's more shoes back here these cowboy boots are only $3.89, but they are pretty busted. Hmm, nothing much in particular back here in the shoes for me, but I have a few items that I pulled that I'm gonna like try on and decide. Alright, I found a mirror in the store. It's not ideal, it has stickers on it, but <laughs> look at this leather jacket. It's actually like pretty nice. Like the fit's pretty good. This is genuine leather for $4.89 which is just crazy. All right, I am being extremely picky, but I think I decided I don't like how the pockets sit because they're like little accordion pockets. If I'm leaving it, that's going to be my excuse. <laughs> okay, the horse jacket. Wow, this makes me want to just cozy up by a little bonfire in my backyard. Oh, it's got a little cowboy too. I just saw that. The cut of this coat and the purple is not really my vibe, but I don't know. I love that like horse print. Like it's cool. This is going to take up a lot of room in my suitcase too. So I have to be really picky on the jackets. <laughs> I will say $4.89 for this horse jacket is also bonkers because <laughs> probably was like over $100 when it was new, maybe $200. It's made by Wooded River, which is a local like Idaho company. <sighs> Such a good buy. This cute little vintage sweater with the puff sleeve. And it's like an Angora blend too. That's so nice. And 99 cents again. It's, it's just bonkers how good the pricing is in here. I also found a red bandana which was on my list today. <laughs> I've been looking for one. So I'm gonna snag that. All right that's it for this shop but let's get the thrifting going. I'm gonna hit up one more spot. Okay, I'm actually starting on the men's side because I just kind of want to like cruise through it really quick and look at like sweaters and sweatshirts and maybe, maybe a tiny bit in the t-shirts. <laughs> you know I already have way too many t-shirts but I can't help myself. Look at these cool vintage Wranglers. Such a sucker for that logo. Only eight bucks. Oh, 
This like could not fit more perfectly. I definitely have a denim jacket, but this is a little bit different wash and cut. I feel like I might pick this up anyway. Look at this, another members only jacket. I like this blue. Seven bucks. pretty much like gone through all the men's section. It's it's nice because it's not like super packed in here. There's enough stuff that you can dig, but like you also can like browse really quickly in the store. And I've got like three or four things in my cart already. So I'm over on the shoe side. I think I'll swing through the shoes and then I almost want to go to the bags before I even get into the women's clothing. But yeah, let's just, we'll see everything. <laughs> I'm so excited. So here's the shoe section and they do have it organized by size. So it makes it really easy to browse actually really quickly like everything else in the store. <laughs> okay, here's all the bags. I've got all that and some back there. Here's all their jewelry. Ooh, look at these earrings. So in my recollection, I thought they had a huge section of bags and accessories here, and they actually don't. They have like just kind of a standard amount, and they actually have a lot of home decor, a lot more than I remember seeing. So this is a great place to come for home decor. this entire back room full of furniture too. So I'm gonna dig into some of these women's tops. I didn't mention yet, I don't think, but they do have 50% off any blue tags today. So that's a really good deal because the pricing that I'm seeing is already just very reasonable. Okay, I spotted this cuff. What is this tea? Oh my gosh, cute. This exact polo. Banana Republic tag. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. print is so cute. Ooh, it's got like a bell sleeve too, size large. I 
Okay, we're onto the women's sweaters and jackets, and I'm very excited because this is like the primary stuff that I'm looking for, so hopefully my cart will be filling up. leather jacket they're asking 18 for it which I think is good the, even the liner is like so soft it has no tags I almost thought it was reversible even but I just don't think the style is what I'm looking for I'm not quite sure I think I want something a little more like tailored and fitted maybe look at this cute little windbreaker like that liner is so adorable oh my gosh this coat yeah we gotta try that Look at this cool vintage skirt. It is plus size. It's a size 26 and it has pockets. So cute. the way it's cut right there. That's a very 80s silhouette. So cute. I'm gonna look at these dresses now. There's not a ton, again, like I said, everything is a little bit light, but it makes it so easy to browse and the stuff I'm seeing is so good quality. Such good quality. <laughs> little vintage like wrap dress but it doesn't have buttons or anything and then this actually is a necktie but the rest of it is just like open so I'm not sure how you like secure this but the print like the fabric is really cute super cute little knit dress. All right, at this point we have seen the whole store and I'm gonna show you everything that I'm considering and I can use this little mirror to kind of try some stuff on. I'll let you know their fitting rooms are currently open so you can actually get in and really try stuff on. I'm just gonna do it this way because it's just a better time saver for me right now and I have measuring tape, which is another pro tip. You can always bring measuring tape and double check the fit of things that you can't or don't wanna try on. I found this little cardigan, eight bucks. 
It looks like a vintage or a handmade knit, but it's really nice. It's cute and it's very nice. Um, it's it's actually like cozy and warm, but not an itchy yarn that it's made with. I just don't think this style is something that I would get a lot of wear out of right now. This is not really my vibe lately, so I'm probably gonna leave this one, but good find. All right, this blouse, I really like the print on it. I just don't know if that's really my style lately. I do think this would be an amazing fall piece. Like you could pair that with some pleated trousers, wear it with like leather bottoms of any kind, short skirt, mini skirt. And I like that it has the like bell sleeves on it. I just think this one's gonna be too tight. And I also don't love the neckline. Like it's just not doing anything for me. So I think, I think I'll just leave it, but definitely another cute find. Okay, I'm super torn on this members only jacket because I think it's really cool. I love this like cobalt blue color. I have one in gray as I mentioned, but I don't have a blue one. <laughs> I just feel like I, I just don't need it. I have a cobalt blue coat that I love to wear, but this is only seven bucks. Like it's just such a steal. It makes me want to get it, but I don't know. I just feel like I don't need it. Maybe I could figure out someone who I know who would love it and give it away as a gift. <laughs> I might do that. Hmm. Hmm. I was so excited when I spotted this little men's sweater. It is 100% cotton and it has this cute little buffalo stitched on it. I just really liked that. But it also has Izod Club stitched on the shoulder there. And it's also just really faded. So I feel like I wouldn't maybe I wouldn't wear it and it is a blue tag so it is on sale for 350 all right this like vintage cheetah print jacket that's pretty cool it actually fits really nice too <laughs> um yeah I don't know I don't know if this is like the j type of jacket I'm looking for like I mentioned I'm looking for like leather and fur jackets kind of more like not necessarily kind of windbreaker style but this one is really fun. It is only eight bucks too, which is good. So cute. But I think I'm gonna leave it. All right, someone's gonna be upset at me for leaving this blouse. Gosh, I mean, it, it actually fits. That's exciting that it's actually like a plus size, but it's so sheer and I just don't think this is really like my current vibe either. It's seven bucks. It's definitely gorgeous. Like the detail's very nice. Oh man, this is a tough one to leave, but I think I'm gonna pass on this one. All right, so I've shown you everything that I'm leaving behind and I've got a few things left in my cart that I'm gonna go check out with. So I will get you that haul and styling when I get home and then we'll keep the thrifting going in Spokane. Next to do was a fun thrift store to dig. Like I said when we were there, and I say this lovingly, it's a junk store. Total digger, they're just wall to wall with awesome pieces. And many of us love a thrift store like that. They have such a wide range of items and their pricing has gotta be the cheapest in the whole Spokane area. 99 cent clothing was just insane. The Union Gospel Mission store, we have thrifted there before and I also found some really amazing pieces. I, that's gotta be one of my favorite thrift stores in Spokane. I know it's technically in the valley, so don't come for me. I think that store is good for a little bit of everything. They certainly had a large home decor and furniture selection. They were a little bit lightly stocked on this trip, but I thought the jacket section was very strong. There were a number of jackets that I really liked there. I also love how this store doesn't really mark up a lot of their items. They tend to stay in a really reasonable price range. To me, this has the vibe of one of those hidden gem thrift stores that when you walk in, like you just know you're probably gonna find like one or two really amazing items that you love. And now let me show you my thrift haul. I got this little red bandana for about 50 cents. I was packing for this trip to Spokane and had wished that I had a red bandana because of some of the Pinterest looks that I wanted to recreate wearing the bandana as like a little neckerchief over white t-shirts and I only have a yellow bandana so the red one was on my thrift list. Grabbing one for 50 cents was a steal. I decided for 99 cents that I should go ahead and snag that little Angora Blend cardigan. It's just darling, a really great basic. Here's a close-up of the cute beading that goes all down the front. 
and the little puff sleeve. Also couldn't resist those vintage Wrangler jeans. I am a sucker for Wranglers. This is a size that I have never seen in a thrift store before, which is 37, and it's just in that perfect spot that fits me, I think, the best of any Wranglers that I own now. And this is a darker wash than what I own. Dark washes, I think, are so great for fall and winter styling. One of my best finds, I think, of this whole Spokane mini series was this vintage Gap denim jacket. I just absolutely fell in love with the fit of it. It's just different enough from my beloved Levi's denim jacket to add this to my collection. And I've already got a ton of wear out of it just on the rest of the trip and since I got home. And I think for $8, this is a total steal. And if you're curious, I did already personalize with a little Murder City Devil's pin on the jacket. I also picked up some accessories on this thrift, these blue hoops and some gold earrings and a green woven belt, which I'm sure you will see me style a lot in the future. And last, I did buy that horse print jacket, but I actually gifted it to my cousin who lives in Spokane. Thank you for thrifting with me. This series is continuing with new episodes every Sunday and Thursday, so you can subscribe and turn on your notifications. And I'll see you again soon for the next video.